first, a church gives back in a big way, giving up the money for a new building so a boxing club can pay off theirs. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. Victory Boxing needed $70,000. The church gave half, and an anonymous donor matched the rest. And the money also opens new doors for the club, giving kids a positive place to go. And KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with tonight's big story. And Rob, a lot of memories have, have happened inside this building. For some kids, it's even a second home. But how Victory Boxing came to own it, they say, is nothing short of a miracle. You're watching Tim Kendall's first match, his first win. But it's not the first obstacle he's beat with the help of Victory Boxing. Get me out of trouble from all that bad stuff on the streets. Really good. That unforgettable fight happened right here at the club. Now Tim's back in the same ring, not to box, but to talk about victory. You know, I think we're a family because, you know, we always stick together. We're, we're always there for each other. Victory Boxing Club is filled with stories like Tim's. Dozens of lives changed with the discipline of boxing and the power of faith. And they say faith is what helped them buy this building. It helps us to focus on really the task at hand, what God's really called us to, you know, and not necessarily worrying about where that next mortgage payment is going to come from. Founder and director Reverend Servando Perales says this moment, this celebration, made possible by two donations. Never in a hundred years I've ever would have imagined that they generously blessed us with $35,000. So. 35000 from Southridge Church, originally saving for a new building. Instead, they helped Victory Boxing purchase theirs. We knew their need. We also knew that he really wanted to pay this off, to do more for the community. The other, a matching donation, anonymous. Generosity that'll shape stories like Tim Kendall's, a young man who dreamed of victory. His coaches, his second family, made it happen. One of the coolest feeling, just, it made me want to cry. It was a really good moment. Now, Victory Boxing hopes to be able to travel for more matches, but they still rely on your donations to be able to keep the lights on here. So they are planning a fundraiser event for next month. For more on that, we provided information on KETV.com. Reporting live near 30th and R, Christina Engel, KETV News Watch 7. It's a sad